Welcome, everybody. I'm happy to have Corey Kassler of Presswise, who will uh, share with us some of the amazing things this program can do. As you've heard me talk many times, it's the Amazon effect is what we're all about. We need some customer facing solutions, but we also need to take touches out on the inside. And that's what this is all about. So, Corey, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, thank you so much for the invitation to present to you all today. Uh, it's great to see some familiar names, and now I actually get to see faces uh, with those names too. Uh, so today we're going to go through Presswise. A little bit of background. Uh, Presswise was created by our former vice president who used to run a print shop uh, in California. It was designed back when there really weren't any MIS systems that were dedicated to digital workflow. Uh, the MIS systems out there were more focused on, uh, on, on traditional uh, workflow. But with digital growing, jobs getting uh, shorter, runs getting shorter, it's turnaround times getting faster. It really, you know, the workflow in MIS systems or manual workflows just didn't make much sense. Presswise was created to automate workflow. It was actually based on the Amazon model, our shopping cart was. So it's um, uh, kind of ironic that you, um, that you named that as your uh, title for the, for the meeting today. You know, rather than starting with all the Presswise does, I thought I would start with some of the issues that clients come to us with. Uh, you might share these issues. Folks say things like, you know, we used to have a basic web to print system that used to send orders to us by email and folks would have orders coming via phone, phone call, email, you know, web storefronts and things like that. And then they still took manual interaction to get those orders placed. Prior to implementing Presswise, typical order consumed as much as three hours of cumulative administration time. Using your average burden rate in this particular shop of $35 an hour, their average cost per order was approximately $105. Now, that just doesn't work when you're dealing with $53 or you know, $60 business card orders. And cost was obviously, you know, manually processing was eating into margins. So those are some of the reasons why, you know, folks come to Presswise and why we were actually developed. Now, what they're saying now, after using Presswise, each job now consumes an hour of 20 minutes of labor, resulting in average savings of about $45,000. Today, all orders flow through Presswise using automation features. Orders are automatically imposed and queued directly into production, which is one of our uh, claims to fame. Our automated impositioning really cuts down on a significant amount of uh, manual touches. And we'll jump to the bottom. Presswise and the team at SmartSoft have been the catalyst for revolutionizing our business. And that is probably one of the biggest compliments that we can get. But when you get compliments like that, I mean, that just makes, that just makes my day. The things we're going to go over today are uh, going to be estimating. Um, you can create standard and custom estimates for digital, offset, wide format, screen printing, inventory, and more. Some of the things that we don't do would be like web press work. You know, we don't do super grand format with tiling and nesting in positions. So there's things that we don't do, just like any system. So uh, we like to be forthcoming about, you know, what we do, what we don't do. We'll also take a look at order management. This is our revolutionary dashboard that places all orders uh, right at your fingertips, gives you a nice high overview of what's going on in the shop and with an easy reach of all of your staff. We'll look at impositioning. So rather than uh, workers manually figuring out how to impose jobs, uh, Presswise will automatically create your impositions, again, eliminating touches and enhancing workflow. We'll look at inventory management. Um, and for those of you that have been using Presswise, you'll know that uh, we've we just did a major overhaul of our inventory system. So we'll take a look at inventory and then we'll also look at production management. We'll look at the production dashboard that gives you a top-down view of everything that's going on in the production part of the shop. So uh, printing, what's queued on press, what's in, uh, what's being outsourced, things like that. We have uh, integrated bulk mail processing in Presswise. We're the only company that uses their own bulk mailing software technology. So we do not outsource any of our technology. In fact, all of uh, Presswise is developed by us, supported by us. Uh, so we're really, really proud of that. In fact, we still have some of the original programmers uh, that started Presswise back in the day. And we'll look at integrated shipping. One of my favorite parts of Presswise is the integrated shipping to UPS and FedEx, allowing our, uh, our users to generate tracking numbers and shipping labels without having to key in any data. 
Presswise is mobile. Obviously, I can't show you that, so I've got a nice screen grab here of what Presswise looks like on mobile devices. Owners love that because they can be on vacation, traveling at home, and still see what's going on on the shop just from their from their iPad or iPhone. Uh, in fact, back when we used to do trade shows, and I'd have clients want to upgrade their systems or you know downgrade their systems, and I was able to do it right from my iPhone on the uh, show floor. So. Uh, being mobile friendly is something uh, really, really important to MIS systems, especially these days when everybody is remote. And we'll look at reporting. We just upgraded our reporting technology to J Report. Now, this this has not been rolled out to every system. We're doing um, like we usually do with our enhancements. We're doing a slow rollout. Uh, so some of you might have it. Some of you do not have it yet, but you will. We'll take a look at some reports. I will also look at um, storefronts, web to print storefronts, big, big part of Presswise, big part of doing business with your clients. We certainly want to enable your clients to do business with you as quickly and easily as possible without having to leave messages, send emails, wait for replies back. And that goes into that whole Amazon effect that Todd was talking about. You know, we're all used to ordering on Amazon. We're all used to ordering online. And we do not want to, you know, especially me, I mean, order from Amazon a couple times a week. I just want to go online and see what the status of my order is. I don't want to wait and send an email, wait for a reply. So this is, if you're not doing web to print uh, storefronts for your clients, um, hopefully this meeting will inspire you to do that. And if you already have a web to print storefront, we play very well with connecting to third party storefronts. And you know, look, maybe our storefront isn't exactly what you need. Maybe um, maybe you want to do something like, I don't know, like photo books. In, in that case, you might want to go get a third-party storefront program like PixFiz. Um, if you have a third-party storefront or you need something that we don't do, we're always happy to, um, you know, do integrating to third-party storefront. And these are some of our third-party partners, including shipping, QuickBooks, and uh, uh, some other applications. This is the main Presswise dashboard, and we won't have time to look at everything in Presswise. So this will be a general overview. And then if it was you know, intriguing at all, you can go ahead and book a one-on-one -on -one demo with me. We're gonna start by going into a customer account. And let's just go ahead and hop out to the storefront as if we were a customer. So I've got a bunch of customers here, and I'm gonna hop out to the storefront as if I was um, University of West Georgia. The nice thing about our web print storefronts is that every customer gets a storefront and you can brand each storefront however you like. So this one is you know lightly branded for University of West Georgia. <clears throat> you can brand it to your own company or you can brand it to your, your customer's site. I can change the branding just by going into the back end of Presswise. I can change this branding profile and say, let's look at, let's change the branding profile here and do a little refresh and now we've changed the branding pro profile to chirp realty so that's how quickly you can change the branding profiles all right so let's say they want to place an order we've got a bunch of catalogs on the left hand side brochures business cards letterheads postcards so if we hop into let's say exclusive listings you can have all of that client's assets here on their storefront portal and these assets might be fixed documents like this one is. You know, so this is a fixed document, static. There is no customization that's needed. The client can just come in, order you know, 100 or 1,000, go ahead and add that to the shopping cart. And then they can go ahead and go back to the catalog and order more items. So let's go ahead and go to, we can hop into brochures and we can see this item is actually dynamic. So the client can actually, or the buyer, can upload images, change text, do their own typesetting, and really customize this document, get a, a live preview of it, and then place their order. And then other items, let's say we go to business card and we click on, let's say, this document. This document is already automatically populating with the, all the user's information. So when the client logs in, it'll populate this document with all their information. And then they could do their own typesetting from here. I can flip to the back side. And this one was actually a client who wanted their employees to be able to choose what location they wanted on the back side of their business card. 
So they can go ahead and place that, do a proof approval, and add that to the shopping cart. Other options you could do here is down in templates, I've got, I've got a bunch of items saved for later, but what you can also do is you can expose templates. These are blank templates where the client picks a template and then they can upload their own print ready artwork. What we're not gonna allow clients to do on the Presswise storefront, it's not a Vista print or a Moo print. Clients can't take a document and move text around. They can't upload a bunch of artwork and move that around and they can't change fonts and colors and things like that. The reason why customers, our print customers, customers love the storefront is because we're protecting, protecting the branding. So we'll go ahead and we'll go back to the shopping cart and we're gonna proceed to check out with these two items. And here we get to, again, that Amazon model where we're just going, you know, very simple process to check out. We're gonna go ahead and select the address we wanna ship to. And right now, Presswise is connecting with UPS and FedEx to pull in live rates. Uh, so we'll go ahead and let it default to UPS ground. Client can choose a turnaround time if they want. So this client's on net 30 terms. They're gonna go ahead and just put in a PO name. They could add a project name if they wish, yeah, but we're gonna keep it simple for time's sake and just go straight through and place this order. And then the order's been placed. So now the client knows the order's been placed. They got an email confirmation that the order's been placed and that order is now come into the print shops uh, Presswise system. And we'll look at that in just a moment. But while we're on the storefront, I'm gonna hop out to the customer's main account screen and if the client can now go into their order history and they can now track the order as it goes through the shop. Now we're not gonna let the client micromanage you and see that it's in cutting, it's in folding, it's in binder, you know. We're just gonna give them general overview. You know, this job is in the new status. This is in production. This job is waiting for the client to do the proof approval. So, hey, you know, while I'm in here, I see I've got an order that needs proof approval. I can I can approve the proof. But also what clients can do here, you know, just like, you know, on, on like an Amazon is they can look at their orders, well, here by status. So if I look at orders that are closed, maybe I grab this order here and I can see that the tracking number is here. So the client can actually click and track their shipment. They don't have to contact you guys to get their tracking information they can grab a copy of their invoice right here so they don't have to contact you to, to get an invoice and even when they download the invoice the tracking number will be on there so they can click their click and track their order from their invoice but they can also make a payment directly from their invoice so this one's paid in full but if it wasn't there would be a hyperlink where they can pay click and pay their invoice online back into order history the other thing I want to show you is that clients can also place reorders. So let's say a client, you know, wants to search for a search for a particular order. They could they could do that. And then let's say they want to do a reorder of this item. They simply open the order, and then they have the the artwork is here, and they can actually place a uh, place a reorder. Oh, this order is not in production yet, so they can't place a reorder, but. We grab an order that was in, that was in production, like this one is in production. Then you'll see the reorder button. So clients, it makes it really easy for clients to place reorders. Thing that people ask all the time is, well, what if my client wants to order something online and, it, and it's not there? What if it's not in the catalog? So for that, you can click on custom quote, and users can then put in all their contact information. They can upload a bunch of files, describe their project here and click send, and then you will get an email letting you know all of those job specs. So I'm gonna leave the storefront since there's so much more to show in the back end of Presswise. We can see that we've got a couple of different workflows here. The top workflow, which is in blue, this is the custom workflow. So orders that Maybe they're custom orders that require some extra pre-press work. Maybe they need design work done. You know, maybe they need you know, proof approval. Those are all in the top workflow here. So when you see a number, that means that there's five orders in this status. Bottom workflow is the automated workflow. Typically what's gonna happen is orders that come from the storefront are gonna come into this automated workflow. And what's gonna happen here is 
like here's that order that we just placed on the storefront. Orders are going to flow through this automated workflow, and as long as they don't fail and fall into an exception bucket, they'll automatically go into production. And from there, depending on you ha how you have things set up, Presswise can either put it in a pending folder or or a pending kind of status, or we can automatically impose it and send it right to press. So that's, I mean, that's the ideal is, you know, orders from the storefront coming in, going through automated workflow, going straight to press, all imposed, ready to go. So this order, we're not going to touch it. It'll just go, you know, through automatically. The top workflow, you know, if this was our shop, you know, I would probably have a CSR would be checking this new bucket and inspecting these nine orders and deciding where does the order need to go. It's a brand new order. Uh, if we go to waiting approval, I've got 13 orders that are waiting approval. And so what this means is that, you know, I've got this job here, which is, what is this? This is a playing card box. All right, and it's waiting for proof approval. So we want to get it to the customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the email button. I'm going to click the word proof and I'm going to click send. And Presswise is now sending an email to the customer saying, you know, we're ready to produce your job. Please click here to uh, inspect your proofs. And when the client clicks on that hyperlink, it takes them right to their order page here online and the client can inspect their proof. And when they look at the proof, you'll be able to see that Presswise has actually added the color bars, the crop marks, the proof watermark. So you don't even need to do that prior to uploading the artwork into Presswise. You just upload print ready proof, and that's it. Um, so when the client is looking at their proof, they can either reject the proof, in which case they'd have to put in a reason why they're rejecting the proof, or they would approve the proof. Now, if they approve the proof, that order would automatically move from waiting approval and it would go into the automated workflow. If you've got work that needs uh, design work, you can put those orders in the pre-press artwork file folder here, and then designers can hop in and they can see all the jobs that they need to work on. And all the notes and things are within each of these orders. And of course, you can put orders on hold and orders that are waiting for files, you can put them in here. Oh, and this is, this is a really important part too. If you have orders that are waiting for files from the client, like this order here has a ton of items on this order. We've got, um, so we've got 11 items. Now, if we need to ask the client for files, then again, we'll click on the email tool and we'll say files. And it adds a pre-configured email saying, you know, we're ready to produce your job. Please click here to upload your files to us. So the client got an email and when they click on the hyperlink, again, it takes them right to their order screen and they can click upload and they can now upload their files that they need to send to you. So this really helps because, you know, formerly you'd have to send an email to the client, craft the email, and then the client would email you back and then you'd get those files and then you'd have to move the files into the appropriate spot. Now with Presswise, I just got an email notification saying, you know, hey, somebody just uploaded files to their order. And if we come back to the back end of this, this order here and we refresh this screen here, we'll now be able to see up here in the asset folders that the client has uploaded files. So the order, so the files go directly into the to the order file folder. And this file folder, you can add anything you want to it, signed agreements and contracts and you know videos and audio, whatever you want to put in here, you can put in here. It's a working job folder for this specific order. And you can mark it as a reprint. You can also copy orders. So if you have a client that wants to place a reorder, we can easily copy this order just by clicking the copy button and it would replicate it um, exactly. So that's the, uh, that's the main order dashboard. And we can see that order is now, that order we placed a little bit ago is now in the data section. Okay, so we saw how a client can place an order on the storefront and approve artwork on the storefront. We saw the main dashboard, but let's look at how you guys would place an order on behalf of a client or do a quote for the client. So first thing we're gonna do is click on the customer dashboard and I'm gonna look for the customer that I wanna place an order for, in this case, Chirp Realty, and I open up that customer account and I can view their order history and see the status of all of their orders. And I can take one of these orders and do a reorder of it. Okay, if you do reorders, this makes that process so easy. Um, I can look at quote history 
but I'm gonna do a brand new quote right now. So I'm gonna click on new quote. There's two ways to add items onto a quote. The first way is via favorites. Favorites are predetermined or pre-configured products, complete products, like a product that has finishing tasks and things like that. So if I go into you know, books and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do cover, because I do those a lot, I'm gonna add that. And it added a book to my quote, a book cover. So the art size, cut size, press, scoring, folding, laminating, even the, even the note has added here. And I can come in and edit any of the quantities or any of the specs, but that's what a favorite does. It gives you the ability to add a pre-configured product. Now, let's say as another item uh, is not a favorite, I just wanna you know, just estimate an item and add it to the quote. So in that case, I'm just gonna click on the new button and that's gonna open up the estimator itself. And this is really the heart of PressWise. Now, the pricing is gonna be calculated either on a cost plus uh, method or via price tables. And I can explain that, uh, go into more depth on that on, on our private demos. But so here I'm just gonna decide what do I wanna quote, a printed item, an inventory, or a service. So I'm gonna say printed. And then under category, I've got a, several categories of products. So I can say, you know, I'm going to do a you know, postcard. And then under my product list, it's going to show me all of my postcards. So I can select the postcard. I can say, you know, what, what press I want it to run on. If I want it to run on a different press, I can select my inks. It's defaulted to my cover stock and I can choose a different substrate. Now it's only going to show you substrates that are compatible with this press and this product ID. And we can see here how that job's going to impose. And then I can quote, you know, let's say I want to quote 500, 700, and 1,000. And if I want to add some finishing tasks, I can go and add finishing tasks. Like if I want to add mail processing, I could do that. If I want to do some special co coding or cutting, I can do that as well. And we can see retail price on the left, cost on the right. We can go ahead and save that. And that adds that item to the quote. And we'll go ahead and add one more item to here. And you can build, you know, just because, you know, we have a drop down menu of different items on here, it, and that item, once you select it, we automatically fill in the run size, bleed size, cut and finish size. It doesn't mean that you can't do custom because we love, everybody just does custom work. So if you're gonna do something custom, you can just change the dimensions. Um, you can even give the job a custom, the project a custom name. But for here, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and leave this. And again, you can see how the imposition is. And if I change any of the dimensions, press-wise will, um, will recreate the imposition on the fly. And again, all of your finishing tasks are listed under here. And all of these drop-down menus are customizable. So you can add whatever you want. And the system does come preloaded with a lot of data. All right, so we've got three items on our quote. We can give it a project name. We can put notes on the quote. Private notes are just for your own internal purposes. The client will never see the private notes. I'm gonna save the quote. And now the next logical step is getting the quote out to the customer. So we're gonna click the email button and click send. And now the client just got an email with a quote a PDF. And if we wanted to see that quote prior to sending it out, we could just click, so the email sent, and we click on the quote. So here's the quote that the client received. And again, this would be customized to each shop. And the client can see all of their uh, specs, the notes and things like that. They could sign off here, and send this back to you, and you can place the order on behalf of the client. But for most clients, they're gonna go ahead and click on the hyperlink. Clicking on the hyperlink takes them right to their storefront where all of their items, their quote is now converted to the electronic format. They could select all their quantities, add it to the shopping cart, upload artwork, uh, make their payment and place that order online. That's a quick view of placing quotes. Now you don't have to place a quote in order to get an order in the system. You can just come in and say new order and place a new order in the system. Some MIS systems require you to do a quote first and then convert it to an order. We know that's not always the case, so we allow you to just create new orders on the fly. Now, once orders are placed, uh, they and they go through the pre-press process that we looked at with all the colored uh, the colored dashboard. Once they get into production, you can view production 
on this dashboard. So this is the top-down view of production. And we've broken it down into a couple of different groups. Here you can look at all of your open jobs by day or by category or by status. You can view all of your pending jobs, which are jobs that are ready to get imposed and go to the press. Pending jobs, we can look at them by due date or by category or by substrate. We can see how much press time is scheduled on a day-to-day -day basis here on the bottom left. And we can see how many sheets are needed of each substrate here on the bottom right. The thing that production managers love about this dashboard is that they can view it on a press-by-press -press basis. So they just want to see what's going on on a specific press. They click the press drop-down menu, and now I've got a whole production dashboard based on just that press. And I can see how much time that press has scheduled on a day-to-day -day basis, which makes this really handy for, for job scheduling. We go back to looking at all presses. And we go to the queued dashboard next. And this dashboard is all the jobs that are imposed and sitting on the press queue. So this is where the press operators live. And one of the cool things about PressWise is that, is that workers don't have to learn all of PressWise, they just have to learn their dashboards. So this is the press operators dashboard. Uh, they can sort by due date. So they know what jobs to work on from top to bottom. And they can work, sort by print by date. So maybe these are, you know, large, um, you know, offset jobs that are going to take, you know, weeks to process. So when we, you know, somebody came in here and put set print by dates. Okay, so you can uh, see that as well. Now, if a press operator is working on a, on a specific press, then they can use this drop down menu and just look at those jobs that are on their press, sort by due date and know, you know, you've got to work on this job for a second, third. Okay, and PressWise has created, you know, the impositioning is all done and uh, it looks like here we've got a single, a single job that's, that's been imposed and here we've got eight jobs, uh, 11 jobs. This job is 24 different jobs that have been imposed together. Uh, so this is a really popular feature of PressWise. If you're doing a lot of, a lot of the same size item, like a lot of business cards, postcards, you know, small format type things. Ganging is definitely, you know, a new concept for some. Uh, for others, it's an absolute requirement. Here we've got uh, PressWise imposed 24 different jobs on the same press run. And what's really neat about this uh, technology that we have is we've created this concept of a of a job digital job card. So this is would be you know typically a digital job. You can do offset. A lot of our clients do offset ganging as well, but it's more popular on on the digital side. So we've created this concept of a digital job card. One of the items that or feedback that we get from clients is that you know creating creating job jackets for for small orders really eats into revenue. And so rather than uh, creating a job jacket for each small job, workers in PressWise will print the job ticket right on press. So if we take a look at this, this is the digital job ticket. So here we've got the press run, and then here we've got the digital job ticket. So it sits right on top of the press run and it rides along with the order. So once this job comes off the press, okay, the press operator simply scans this barcode over on the left, whether it's a single job or it's 24 jobs like this one. With this 24 job um, uh, batch, we, as we call it, once they scan this barcode, PressWise will update all 24 of these job statuses and mark them as printed. So right here, I've got these 24 jobs. I'm gonna go ahead and manually scan the barcode. Presswise is going to consume the paper. It's going to mark all 24 jobs as printed. It's going to update the inventory for the paper and those 24 jobs have now disappeared out of my to-do list. Okay, so that's how we move the job through the shop and that's the pur purpose of those barcodes. And then the, we go over to finishing. Finishing folks have their own dashboard where they can see jobs by due date, by task type, and see the amount of time that's scheduled for each department or each machine over here on the right. And you can, of course, drill into these uh, these queues. If you want to see everything that's due tomorrow and, and prior, here's my, my finishing to-do list. And I can see where those jobs are located. If we go over to shipping, which is the next queue, 
uh, we scan the barcode. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say on the finishing side, when you scan the barcode, it marks the finishing task as being completed. And, uh, and you can, if you want to do a detailed shop floor data collection, you could um, record the actual time uh, that it took for, for those finishing tasks and for jobs to be printed. Uh, if you don't record the actual time, Presswise will use the estimated time, which is uh, the default of the system. On to shipping, when we scan the barcode here, that marks the job status as boxed and puts the job in the queue here for shipping. And we can see here that we've got 12 orders that are ready to ship UPS, four jobs ready to ship FedEx, and so on and so forth. So if I want to go ahead and ship these UPS jobs, I click on the hyperlink, and here are my uh, 12 jobs. Now, we we know what the weight is. We do a really good job at estimating the weight in Presswise because we know the size of the piece, we know the quantity, we know the paper mass, but we don't know how much you know your boxes weigh or the, um, the amount of uh, packing materials or any tchotchkes that you're putting into the box. So you do need to double check the weight. Otherwise, rather than, you know, typically what happens is that workers are going into FedEx or WorldShip or something like that, and they're typing in an address to ship to, or they're typing in an address to search the address, uh, to, to look for the address that they have in their um, maybe address book, because it's a repeat customer. But here, no keying is required. We simply select all the orders that we're going to ship to, and we click Generate Shipping Labels. Presswise is going to do an address quality check because we're address quality is one of you know, our technologies. So we're gonna cast certify each shipping address, meaning it's gonna uh, correct the address, add the plus four to the zip code, make sure it's valid. We're even gonna tell you if that address is a residential address. And if you didn't pick a residential like FedEx, FedEx home delivery, we're gonna flag that and tell you, you need to flip the shipping to FedEx home delivery. Um, so that's the kind of cool things that we do. So here, all my shipments are ready. Um, I just click print all labels and then Presswise is gonna generate my UPS labels in this case. And all of the tracking numbers are now automatically populated in the system. And also they're now automatically on the client storefront. So the client can log in right now to the storefront and they can see all their tracking numbers. And this is just gonna print to your regular printer you have hooked up to your PC in your shipping department. That is, that's done. If we go back to shipping, you can do the same thing for FedEx and USPS. We've also got jobs ready for pickup and local delivery. And then we've got this step called reconcile. What this does is if we click on this button and we, here's all the orders that are packed and ready to go. If I click on this button, Presswise is going to send out an email to all of these customers, letting them know that their order has shipped. That email is going to include a copy of their invoice. And also it's gonna include the tracking number as well. And you can turn off the invoice if you don't wanna send your client an invoice with every single shipment. Um, it's completely an option. Another part of shipping, which is off the main dashboard, is our pickup and delivery queues. Pickup is, of course, if you've got clients that are coming to the shop that are picking up an order, you can go ahead and get a signature. So again, like Amazon, the driver, the delivery person, or the person who's coming to pick up is going to you know sign off on their on their receipt and they can put you know type in their name and information there the other thing we can do is on the delivery queue this is super cool because if you've got local delivery drivers that work for you this is their dashboard that that would they would use on an ipad they can see all the deliveries that they need to make they can click and get directions via google maps or they could you know select all of these Presswise will create a delivery map for the delivery driver. And then as the delivery driver goes out to make a delivery, they can also get a signature delivery, a signature for delivery here. Or if the person is not there that they're delivering it to, they can also then just click on, uh, they can click on upload and they can take a picture on their iPad and upload an image of the delivery. So again. Just just try and be like Amazon. And then this is also, this is saved in, uh, this delivery receipt is saved in their account. So that's delivery. And then the last part is the accounting queue. If you received payments, and all payments receivables are done in Presswise. So let me hop there first. So if you want to enter payments for a customer, just pull up the customer's account. All right. 
right? And then I can see all the orders for that customer. And I can sort it by, you know, balance or date. And let's say that this client gave us, you know, a $1,000 check. And I can put the name in there, let's say Corey and check number. And I can say distribute amount and Presswise will automatically distribute the amount of the check from top to bottom. You can record the payment. And now if we go to the accounting queue, that's gonna be, that payment is gonna be in the accounting queue. So the accounting queue is all your orders that shipped for the day, all your payments that you got for the day. And from here, we can go ahead and select these, create a multi-page invoice for internal auditing purposes. We can export this as a CSV file or as an IIF file um, so that you can connect with other, um, send the data to other um, accounting systems. We actually connect with, as far as accounting systems go, we connect with um, uh, QuickBooks, uh, the local version, not the online version. That's something we can get into on a, a one on one discussions and demos. But, um, since we only have about 15 minutes left, I'm going to just hop on two more items and then we'll open up to questions and answers. Uh, vendors is where you're going to set up all your vendors. Vendors can be for materials or um, outsourcing work. Um, there's a purchasing dashboard here where you can create purchase orders. This dashboard will automatically populate with items that you're running low on. Very, very easy to create purchase orders and Presswise will, will actually send the purchase order to directly to the vendor. So if we say, you know, I need this paper by tomorrow and we can add a note for the purchase order, Presswise will populate exactly how much we need. And I can go ahead and bump, bump that bump that, those numbers up for these substrates that I need to order. And then we can go ahead and click email and review the, the nice purchase order that we created, click send. And now that email is sent directly to the vendor. They have our purchase order. And now when items are come in, we can go into the purchasing receiving. Here's all my open purchase orders. And now when items come in are shipped to us, we can go ahead and open up that purchase order, mark that we received the quantity needed, or we could do a partial. Let's say I only, I only received 500. Then notice it only says partial. So I'm gonna receive a partial shipment on this purchase order. Presswise will go ahead and push those 500 quantity back into the inventory levels and update that. Speaking of inventory, you can set inventory levels if you like too. So out of you know hundreds of items I have in inventory, I can set, choose specific items that I wanna set minimums for. And if you run low on a specific, or you hit this minimum, e uh, Presswise can email certain folks in the shop message uh, giving you a low inventory notification email. Last thing we'll hop on is uh, reports. There's a huge amount of reports that are already in the system. These are the upgraded reports. So if your dashboard looks a little bit different, if there's any, you know, I see some customers on, are on the line. Uh, if you don't have this yet, you will. And there's three different levels to, to reporting. You can have our out-of-the-box reporting tool, which is um, very interactive. Here's one report, customer aging report, if you wanna see you know, all of your customers and you know, how much they owe and what that looks like, we can hop in here. And the neat thing about the new J report is that it's interactive. So I can click on the item here and we can see we've got filters, we can sort, we can exclude you know, other account names in here. Uh, all of the reports you can export uh, as, a, as Excel. Uh, and then we also, have, um, we also have dashboards here too. And these are all included in the basic Presswise uh, system. And let's just grab all of these. Again, very interactive uh, dashboards here. And then there's two other levels. There's a level where you can um, buy up and be able to edit the reports. And there's a higher level, which will actually allow you to design your own reports. Um, so if you wanna customize your job tickets, uh, you can get the report designer tool. Uh, and just to finish up my part, just talking a little bit about implementation. Folks always ask about implementation. How much time will it take? And that's always a hard question because every shop is different. Um, you know, you might have five presses to set up, somebody else might have two, you know, you might have a lot of finishing tasks to set up. 
But the general rule of thumb is we believe in setting up for the minimum viable product. Set up just enough of Presswise, a new MIS system to handle one, one typical customer. The reason why you do that is to get everybody used to the system, you get used to how it works, and you're not setting up everything all at once, which could really be over, quite overwhelming. And if you do set everything up at once, and then you discover, oh, I should have set this up differently, then you have a lot less to change. So set up a small amount of Presswise for, for a single client. You should be doing quotes and estimates in Presswise within two weeks. You will definitely not have your Presswise system completely set up in two weeks by any stretch of the imagination or any other MIS system, but you should be doing quotes for your customer within two weeks, and then you can grow from there. So with that, I think I can hand it back to Todd, and uh, we can open up for questions and answers. Okay, anybody have any questions? Uh, I'm interested in uh, whether Presswise plays well when it comes to uh, some products that we have, such as screen printing, embroidery, and signs. Can you share a little bit about how flexible it is to work with those products? Sure, um, yeah. So. With Presswise, you can, we're going to, for, for print work, we're going to, we're going to estimate because we know the size of the sheet, you know, we know the inks and things like that. Those are things that can go into a quote. With things like embroidery, you can put that order, place that order for embroidery in Presswise. But we're, what we're not going to do for things like embroidery is we're not going to calculate stitch counts. So that's something that you would need to put in, you know, probably manually type in. Signs are going to be a lot of the times treated as like a wide format press. And with signs, there's a lot of finishing tasks that we have already built in for signs, you know, like a pole pocket sewing and grommets and things like that. And you can put a lot of descriptors because signs can be, you know, they could be printed items, they could be three dimensional signs. So you can put that all in press wise. There's just some things that we won't be able to calculate, just like for screen printing we're not going to calculate you know like the percentage of maybe each different ink that might get a little bit tricky but you can i mean you can put an order in presswise for a cup of coffee with cream and sugar but we're not going to calculate the you know percentage of cream <laughs> for a light colored cup of coffee <laughs> that, if that kind of helps would you say that those kind of jobs would be handled somewhat like a broker job or a promotional product job you just have to describe it well, uh, except on the signs, you do have some built-in finishing functions, right? Oh yeah, you can create as many custom finishing tasks as you want in the system. So the system's gonna come you know, with a variety of different finishing tasks out of the box, but let's say you've got really unique finishing tasks that nobody else has. And so you can add those custom finishing tasks to the system. Thank you. You're welcome. Corey, I have a question. Um, in the beginning, you were talking about storefronts, and if someone placed an order, they could log back in, see later their list of orders, so on mm -hmm. and so forth. Does the same view populate eventually if we have to manually key in an order for that customer? Like yeah. a week later, they can log in. Okay, so that uh -huh. the same information is available. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Any, sing any order, no matter where it's placed, they'll be able to see the orders on the storefront. I'm going to ask Larry Murphy just to chime in a little bit. He's our most tenured user on, on PressWise. Larry, just talk a little bit about how you use it and what it does for you. Hi, Larry. Hey, hey Corey. Hey, what it's doing for us really is it's, it's all about the order entry and getting a quote out to the client and getting the approval back. Uh, in some instances, it's done within 10 minutes that if we send up, enter, enter the order, uh, one thing I don't think Corey talked about was products. Uh, I don't remember hearing it anyway. Um, and you can set up products in it. So in other words, if, let's say a postcard, a five by seven postcard, if you do these all the time for a client, you can just choose that product and it'll auto entry all the information for you, the paper, the cutting size, the running size, et cetera. So that's a big time saving. So if somebody orders a, a postcard from us, what we can do then is just choose that product attach the PDF that they sent to us in an email and click uh, send the proof and they, they, gen they generally will get it within a few minutes and then they can come back to us. And this has saved at least a day in production time. And you know, as the rest of you know that the timelines for job are getting shorter and shorter. 
So this is a huge savings. So when you have two, two days to complete a job, and one of them was spent the old-fashioned way of sending the proofs, this saves the entire day on that. So that, that for us has really probably been the, big, the single biggest thing. The other thing is the shipping, being able to do through FedEx or UPS, uh, that that's all integrated into the system. Uh, you just have to attach your UPS account to it or FedEx account. And then uh, when the job is done, you can just basically click ship and they, uh, it'll create the label for you. And that's already done. And uh, if, you have, if you're sending a FedEx or UPS, there's a tracking number that can get sent to the client right away. So they get that information. Thank you, Larry. Welcome Anybody? Back. Uh, Corey, um, uh, could you tell, I'm not, I, I've seen PressWise advertised for, for uh, several, for a long time, uh, but I don't know much about your company. Uh, are you owned by EFI? Uh, are you an independent company? Yeah, how many we, employees does PressWise have? Uh, how big a company is it? Yeah, so um, Pre uh, PressWise is the name of our product and SmartSoft is the name of our company. Uh, we're a privately owned company. We've been in business since 1968, and we're actually a family-run company. Uh, now, I've heard of SmartSoft because uh, uh, of the mailing uh, yeah. software, I think you're probably yes. known for. Uh, yeah. So this, the company that has the had the mailing software decided to develop a very comprehensive printer software. Is that fair to say? Is that... Kind of, sort of, yeah. So you're right on track. SmartSoft is a, uh, we were first known as, well, we were first known as a hardware company. We produced mailing hardware, so tabber, shredders, direct impression printers. And then we started selling and developing uh, bulk mailing software, uh, address quality software. And then we uh, were approached at a trade show by uh, by a gentleman who developed Presswise in his uh, print shop in California. And he came on board with his whole IT team. And uh, yeah, and that's uh, that was the that's the evolution of Presswise and SmartSoft. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, so we didn't develop Presswise from scratch. We uh, it was developed in a print shop out of real need. And what's really cool and unique about the support about Presswise that I I just have to talk about is that um, all of our support staff are our own employees. We don't outsource anything. They all have a print background. Two of our support staff have actually worked in Presswise shops. One of them worked in the original Presswise shop. When you contact our support, you are getting just extraordinary folks that have intimate knowledge of print and can really help you and relate to what you're dealing with. Could you share about how many uh, companies are using Presswise, just roughly? Yeah, that's competitive information that we don't share. Um, okay. But you know, we've been producing Presswise since I think 2010. We have probably I could say we have we have we have hundreds of users, thousands of folks using Presswise, individuals, and that's probably as much as my boss will let me. Yeah. Owner will let me say. <laughs> Joe, I'll, I'll tell you, we have seven within the program on Presswise right now. Okay, super. Thank you. Yeah, we're so excited about that. Any final questions? We have a couple minutes left. Any final questions? I just want to add one thing about the customer service. And my finding with it is that uh, when I have a question about setup of the program or just questions in general, uh, during working hours, I get responses back usually within five to 30 minutes at the most. So that's also a huge help when you're trying to work on setting up something, especially. Good to hear. We yeah. love that. And I hear nothing but good about your customer service too. So that's great. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, we're, was, was there one final question? Yeah, I had one quick. Just um, how are the costs? How are the costs to us uh, calculated? Okay, very simple, <laughs> which you wouldn't expect from an MIS system. Um, you pay a uh, a flat fee to start up to start the system, and then you pay a monthly fee. The initial setup fee is going to depend on if you get the storefront or not. The monthly fee is going to depend on how many concurrent users you have. And that cost also includes unlimited support, unlimited training, product updates, enhancements, and things like that. One of the interesting things with COVID that we're really proud of is that press-wise, we are say you can scale it up, but you can also scale it down. And clients that have these big MIS systems and paid you know, a three-year three -year fee and things like that, or a one-year fee, they are stuck with that fee, and that's it. 
but with Presswise, because there's no contracts and we're month to month, we've been able to help clients sustain through the through these you know hard times of COVID by scaling down their Presswise systems and saving them money every month. It feels good to help and do that. But what's really cool is we've also found those clients that knocked down some seats on their system to save costs every month. They're now starting to add those seats back, uh, which is really good news for the for the industry, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we are going to wrap it up here. Corey, thank you once again for the presentation. And um, I will get recordings out to everybody as well. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for attending. Have a great day. My pleasure. Thank you, everybody.